the Sistine Chapel ceiling was painted in fresco by Michelangelo between 1508 and 1512. It's impossible to imagine this, as today Michelangelo's ceiling is one of the world's greatest masterpieces. But he didn't want to paint it at all. He wasn't sure he can handle it. It is said that he thought himself a good sculptor, but not a good enough painter. He accepted only because the Pope, Julius II, told him to do it. More than that, he thought that his rival set all this up for him to fail. The work took a long time. Four years Michelangelo painted these frescoes. In total, they cover 12,000 square feet or 1,115 square meters. There is a theory that Michelangelo painted the ceiling lying on his back, but that's not true. He was actually standing. After a year of work, Michelangelo noticed that a large part of his painting was covered in mold. Probably he thought he was a bad painter after all, and informed the Pope about this. But Julius II asked him to continue. He repainted all the moldy parts, and since then the work has held together very well. Did you know that God, on the most famous fresco creation of Adam, is set within the outline of a brain? It is thought that this was a demonstration of God giving humans intelligence. We have already mentioned this in another video about hidden meaning in famous masterpieces. Be sure to watch that video after this one. And we continue. The outline of the brain is not the only shocking thing. It's quite common for us today to picture God as an old man with beard. But before Michelangelo, nobody dared to depict God in this way. Michelangelo paints God six times on his ceiling. Twenty-four years after completing the ceiling, the master started to paint the altar wall of the Sistine Chapel. He was 61 at that time and completed the work at the age of 66. The fresco is called The Last Judgment. There is an interesting story behind this fresco. Due to depicting the holy persons in the nude, Michelangelo was accused of immorality and obscenity and the fig leaf campaign started, or, in other words, censorship. The Pope's own master of ceremonies, Biagio de Cecina, said it was mostly disgraceful that in so sacred a place there should have been depicted all those nude figures exposing themselves so shamefully. He also added that it was no work for a papal chapel, but rather for the public baths and taverns. After hearing about that, Michelangelo painted Cecina as Minos, judge of the underworld. It is said that when Cecina complained, the Pope responded that his jurisdiction did not extend to hell, so the portrait would have to remain. He had quite a sense of humor. In the 1560s, the artist Daniel de Volterra covered everything that must not be seen with fig leaves and loincloths. This work was undone only at the end of the 20th century, between 1980 and 1999. By the way, in the painting Michelangelo does a self-portrait, depicting himself as Saint Bartholomew after he had been skinned alive. It is interesting that the outside of the Sistine Chapel is absolutely plain. There is no decoration or grand entrance, for example. The Sistine Chapel was completed in 1481 and held its first Mass in 1483. From the beginning it was the Pope's personal chapel, and it is today. Have you found this video interesting? Then like it, subscribe to our channel The Mind of Art and hit the bell not to miss new videos. See you soon! Bye!